Welcome back to Pokemon Moemon Edition, Episode 4. I uh, spent some time and grinded up some more. Uh, Loxus is now level 10, and Kurahashi and Han Hanamaru are both level 9. So, they'll evolve very quickly, hopefully. So, as promised, I'm going to go check out what's happening at the museum. That 50 bucks could have been for Pokeballs. What are these? Oh, an Aerodactyl. I can't wait to see what the Aerodactyl girl is going to look like. And the Kabutops girl and the Amistar. Wow. It should have been like a skeleton version of the girl. That would have been funny. Oh, well I have a Pikachu and you're not getting it. It took forever to get. What does this guy want? You have a rocket ship. That's that's your space exhibit. There's nothing here. Yeah, moonstones are pretty lame. July. Wow. I think it just got it a little too real. It was not worth the fifty bucks in my opinion. This place sucks. Okay. How many Pokeballs do I have? Four? That's good enough. Might as well continue on and uh, continue my quest to try to get every... Well, as many Pokemon as I can. Moemon, I mean. Alright. What's this guy want? Oh, yes, running shoes. That's nice. There's always time to run. Thank you, aid. I know how to run, mom. Okay. All right, let's do some battles. No. Janice. Fucking Janice. Janice is gonna kick my ass. Boxes, let's see what you got. All that girl had was Pidgeys, not very cool at all. Did you? Why did you not say hello? Or were you so afraid of my Urza? Caterpie? Well, Urza just destroyed everything in her way. His way. Colton, you suck. You should get some better Pokemon. Yes. Best character in the game. I don't even know what youngster it is. Youngster Ben. Okay, time to see what an Ekans looks like. Do you have anything good against poison types? I don't think so. Oh, wow. Well. She looks, uh... Pretty, uh... Salty. That's not the word I'm looking for. Sassy, that's the word I'm looking for, not salty. Great, poisoned. She kind of looks like Lucy from the Battle Frontier. I think that's her name. The Pike Queen. There we go. Hers is going to evolve soon. That's exciting. Well, you better believe it. I went to go heal up Urza because she was poisoned. Let's continue. Are you a trainer? Let's get with it right away. Get with what? What does this guy have? Greg. And that's the end of Metapod. With a critical, which I probably didn't need. Level 16. And I believe... That's some good news. Because now Urza is going to evolve. 
Okay, let's see what Charmeleon looks like. He looks like a Driftblim, Driftblim from its uh, silhouette. Hey, that, not bad. It looks better than the other one. It doesn't have a funny bump on its head. I think it looks pretty good. And now I'll continue on. Uh, I didn't, I'm not even looking at you. Okay, it's time to see what a Nidoran looks like. Uh, why don't you fight it, you? Why don't you fight it? I can just see that. Oh, it's true. We saw it at the beginning of the game. Oh. I guess it's not that exciting. Well, then I wonder what the male looks like. Okay. I should move Urza and try to get you some levels from this bug catcher. <laughs> hey, you're not wearing shorts. What's wrong with you? Is this like his brother? Or his evil twin? Finally, some patches of grass. I want to see if I can get any new Pokemon. Let's see. It's probably gonna be some lame. A Pidgey, great. Let's try this again. Come on, something cool and new. I need Ran, male. Okay, let's see if I can catch this one without killing it. Hopefully, one gust won't knock it out. Okay, good. Come on. Pokeball, go! One, two. Yeah, it's caught. Nice. I love Nido King. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. So, it'll be nice to have. Its large ears are flat like wings. When it is listening to distant sounds, it extends toxic barbs when angered. I'm going to name it. I'm just gonna name it Raiju because I can't think of any other poison characters on off the top of my head. Raiju being Sanji's sister from One Piece. Okay. This person wanna fight? Yeah. Oh, what does Jigglypuff look like? <laughs> Hilarious. Wouldn't expect anything different. Great. Thank you. Jigglypuff. But I'll just quick attack your face. There we go. Level 14. Yu's gonna evolve soon. What is what else is there in the this area? I think there's jigglypuffs, maybe geodudes? Spiro? Okay, I was grinding up Kurahashi, and then I finally ran into a Jigglypuff. Uh, I'm not sure. I guess Hanamaru would be the best choice. Okay, uh, never mind. That's not gonna work. Oh wait, nice. Good job, Hanamaru's special ability. I don't really like Jigglypuff all that much. I don't hate it or anything, it's just a whatever Pokemon. 
does it all it knows is sleep? I mean, sing? Oh. Great. Just great. And... No, good job, Hanamaru. You ruined everything. God damn it. Well, I guess I'll have to go look for another one. Finally, this took forever. But... Kurahashi's finally at level 10, and that means another evolution is in store today. Let's see what Butterfree's going to look like. The anticipation's killing me. And it is beautiful. Super cute. Too bad I'm probably never gonna use her. Confusion. Ooh, that's actually very useful against no one. I'm thinking about. I got mixed up with Starmie. I thought it was weak to Psychic for a second, but it is Psychic. Damn it. Okay, Hanamaru has grew to level 10 as well. And Lox is still level 10, but whatever. Okay, let's see what Beedrill is going to look like. I don't know if it's going to be better than Butterfree, but... I guess we'll have a nice discussion in the thread. Not the thread, the uh, comments. If you prefer Butterfree or... Okay, yeah. I much prefer the Beedrill. That's super cool. That's awesome. Too bad they're shitty Pokemon. I can't use them. Fury attack. That's what I want against Starmie. All right. So the search for Jigglypuff continues. All right. Now it's my second try to get Jigglypuff. Let's hope this goes okay. Okay, Thunder Wave. Okay. Still gets me. It's okay. I'm gonna send in Hanamaru. Okay, that's a nice back sprite. Okay, it misses. Okay, one poison sting should not kill it, hopefully. Okay, good. Sleep. That's fine. Okay, let's hope this Pokeball gets it. Come on. Perfect. It captivates foes with its huge round eyes, then lulls them to sleep by singing a soothing melody. Well, I need to name it after some sort of love life character. Let me think. I'm gonna name it Chica. The main character from Love Live Sunshine. And I'll probably never use Jigglypuff ever. But that's okay. Okay, I think I'm done with this area, so let's continue up here. Who's this guy? Oh wow, that's the Boulder Badge you got it from Brock. Uh, Brock's pretty cool. If you had stronger Pokemon, it'd be a lot cooler. That's why I like uh, Black and White 2, where they give you... Where you get to fight all the old trainers all over again. Pretty awesome. So, I'm going to heal up. And I'm probably going to take a break right now. And then, next time on Pokemon Moi Mon Edition, we will be going through Mount Moon and seeing what treasures we can find within. See ya!